Welcome to the next lesson, choosing the best supplier. And here's what we're gonna cover in this lesson. Where we are at in the entire process, how to choose the best supplier, supplier negotiation tactics, and our two-step negotiation process. By now, you should have evaluated your product samples and determined which one was the best. You also should have some initial pricing and MOQ levels from your suppliers, but don't worry, we'll try and improve those shortly. Now, if one of your product samples stands out among all the others and is really the only one that you want to go with, then your supplier has basically been chosen for you at this point, and you can move on to supplier negotiations. However, if several of your samples seem viable, it's time to now evaluate your suppliers and use that to our advantage during negotiations. If you have more than one viable supplier, here are some things to consider. Which sample had the best quality? Which supplier communicated the fastest and the clearest with you? Did one supplier offer more options than the other ones? Which supplier had the best pricing, at least at this point before we negotiate? And were there any significant differences in production time? Perhaps one supplier could manufacture your products in 25 days, but another was backed up and might take 40. Evaluate each one of these and try to get down to your final two best suppliers. Then we'll proceed to supplier negotiations. Even though we'll be sharing with you our simple two-step negotiation strategy, Chances are that you'll be talking back and forth with your suppliers before then, and topics such as price and quantity may come up. And if you do get involved in those conversations, here are some things to keep in mind. Remember your budget. Review the amount that you were willing to invest back in the welcome module. And always keep that in mind, and that'll help guide your decisions. Always be authentic. Now, you don't have to divulge everything to your supplier, such as the fact that this might be your first product you've ever sourced. But whatever you do tell and share with them, make sure it's always truthful. Be sure to show your potential to them. Even though you are the customer, your supplier is still investing their time in you and taking a bit of a risk, and they want to feel good about their chances for a good return. For example, you could share with them your plans for growing. Perhaps you want to grow this product to 3,000 units per month within six months and launch two new products by the end of the year. Comments such as that when you're having a conversation will truly help them see their potential to grow along with you. Be sure to think long term. You're building an important relationship that will play a significant role in the success of your business. Your margins are usually bigger than your suppliers, and it's simple math. When they're selling you a product for $5 and you're reselling it for $30, a $0.10 cent price difference is much bigger to them percentage-wise than it is to you. If you and your supplier can't come to an agreement that meets both your needs, then don't be afraid to say no and move on. It's actually in both sides' interest to do that. And never ever burn a bridge. A supplier who doesn't meet your needs today might be a great option later on. For example, if they have really high MOQs but great prices, you might not be able to use them right now. But later, once you start selling more, they may be a great option and you'll want to be able to reach back out to them to further increase your own profits. Throughout this entire process, it's critical to have the right goal. The goal is not to get the cheapest price possible. It's to get a good deal that benefits both sides and gets you started on your journey towards building your own business. So then, what is the secret to getting the best deal? Well, there's two ways that I like to look at it. In the short term, if you have more than one potential supplier, that's the easiest way. You can use both suppliers to get the best pricing and MOQ for your initial order. In the long term, however, the best way to get the best deals is to sell out of your first batch of inventory and quickly place a second order. While you absolutely want to negotiate on this first order, and you can, your real ability to get better deals is to sell out fast and to reorder quickly. That's what will get the supplier's attention and will make them want your business even more. Here is a simple two-step negotiation process that you can use for placing your first order. Now you may have your own style of negotiating and that's totally fine to use what you're comfortable with, but this has worked for us and for other sellers in the past. Since pricing and MOQ were tied closely together, in our first attempt, we're going to try to get the best of both in one email. Then, in a follow-up email, we'll try to lower one or the other. So step one, using the price negotiation message template, try and get the best price and MOQ from your two final suppliers. Feel free to tweak the message and put it in your own wording. It's just a template and a guide. You don't have to cut and paste it exactly. Now, once they've both replied, you'll want to follow up with both of them again using the quotes from the other to get either a lower MOQ or a lower price. And chances are you probably want a lower MOQ because that's really what's going to bring your cost down on your initial inventory investment. For the supplier who gave you the worst offer, mention that you have another supplier with a much better deal 
and simply ask them to match that. And you can ask them to match both the MOQ and the price. It doesn't hurt to ask. And for the supplier with the best offer, you still want to follow back up and see if they'll lower the MOQ for you in order to give you a much lower initial investment. Once they reply back, you're ready to pick your final supplier. And keep in mind that if none of the responses work out for you, simply move on to the next set of suppliers. Now it's time to take action. I want you to evaluate your suppliers and choose the best two. Then email them to get their best pricing and MOQ. Then once they've responded, follow up with them to try and get a lower price or a lower MOQ. And once you've made your final decision and reached a deal, go get your found supplier badge. Next, I'll see you in the very next lesson where we'll start getting ready for our first inventory order.